Quest 2 is not supposed to be played outside. for a variety of reasons, but the main one, if you've tried it, you've noticed, is if there's any sort of sunlight, or even if it's a cloudy day, it'll blow out these lenses and they won't actually be able to see your surroundings to track them. KK Cop VR has come out with a solution, they say, at least for the cloudy days. Let's find out. $13 is what this is gonna set you back. It's not bad. It's a protective front shell that snaps onto the front of your Quest 2 and is supposed to have infrared filters on it that will then allow you to still track the surroundings outside. Still be able to see the controllers though. It's not dimming it too much to lose sight of those and let you play outdoors. For people who are like, oh, why would I wanna play it outdoors? You can get unlimited play space, especially if you're used to playing in your house and not just having nearly enough room to do what you wanna do. So, I mean, looking at it, it basically looks like a dark piece of plastic that is fogged on all the edges except for the lens covers, which look like they're the same plastic. It doesn't look like they've inserted anything special into there. Snaps onto the front, so it does advertise, it offers a little extra protection now, in case you were to drop this or something. But smartly, it still has the vents. For those of you who don't know that, part of the Quest cooling system is the slot you see on the front right here. I guess we're gonna test real quick how hard it is to take this thing off now. Okay, it's not easy, I'll say that much. Oh gosh, it feels like you're gonna rip the front of your Quest off while you're trying to do it. Oh boy, once you put it on, it's permanently on. It really hooks into that, uh, that seam. No. Okay, if you get under the camera edge, that seems to be the one edge that was kind of reliable for it. But this seam has vents in it that run air through to help keep your processor cool inside. It does add some around the edge protection, although the way the Quest is shaped, the front is still sticking out far enough that if it were to have a direct hit directly to the front, even on a flat surface, it would still hit the Quest first and not this shell. It's an interesting feature that does that. I don't love already that's kind of hard to take off. If you get where the camera is, that's really the trick. It's a lot easier to unsnap it. But if you're playing indoors, I can't imagine these shades are gonna be doing you much of a favor. So I guess we'll have to test it indoors and outdoors, but we're gonna take this thing outside and uh, go play under the clouds, hopefully. As far as using a headset outside on a cloudy day, this is easily the best it's ever done. I can confirm that already, but it is a little jittery. The grass doesn't look like grass. It looks like a smeary gray. I don't know. It looks like I'm in a really low poly game. I do feel like maybe better than an open field, actually like a basketball court or like a big deck, somewhere that has some more clear points of contrast because that's what the Quest is looking for. It's not mapping out grass. It's looking for contrast. So it's looking for like a black and a white line or something. Oh God, I, I just said how great it was doing and then it just took away my whole entire boundary. Let me try. Yep, that's me. I almost wonder if the grass for all the flowers would work better. I'm gonna go over there and see. So far, this area with like the little dirt patches and the flowers, it looks like there's more for the quest to latch onto to try and track. Although <laughs> this dirt patch is just in the corner, so I'm gonna have to be careful if I get to my corner here. It's definitely when I get away from those kind of things that give it more points of contrast, it does seem to struggle more. I think this may not be good for field, but I'm also trying to make the biggest boundary possible. That might be a bad idea. I maybe should have just made like a 10 foot by 10 foot around me. Mostly the things I want this for is like those games that let you use your full boundary. So I feel like that's the case use here. I don't want to just play Beat Saber outside. Like what, how would that make sense? I want the freedom. Also some games you can turn your guardian off. That might work better for this. But for now, I'm trying to do this in the most normal user-friendly way most users would be using it, is just painting their normal boundary, but outside. My controller definitely is not staying right where it is. It keeps kind of drifting off a little bit. I'm not gonna want to play anything that uses really precise controller movement. The filters have made the cameras dark enough that there's not as much detail as there would normally be for the cameras to track. So I think that's what's giving us a problem here. Let's try a game. Do not attempt to jump over gaps, but that's like the funnest part. Okay, controller is definitely lost in space. Other one I don't even see. They do keep bouncing around and coming back, so at least they're kind of working. Come on, come on. This is definitely not the like perfect outdoor experience I was hoping it would be so far with this filter on. Oh boy, my whip is just floating off to my side here. For some reason my left controller is tracking pretty well, my right is just, just not doing its thing. So hopefully we'll figure that out. Oh. There, now it's back, now that I said that. Yeah, I know the Wi-Fi connection's lost. I'm out in the middle of nowhere. Oh my God, do I have to walk on this thing as it turns? Oh, okay, okay, walk backwards, walk backwards. <laughs> oh my God, this is really cool, actually. Well, now that I'm keeping my head down, weirdly, it seems to be helping the tracking, so I'm not looking up. It's tracking the ground better, it's tracking my controllers better, so I think that's helping. I really am just reviewing this as an excuse to play this game. Okay, just 
gotta be a way. Okay, there we go. Oh, whoa. Okay, okay. Ah! 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 <laughs> Back off! Back off! Oh my god. I wish my whip was working! <laughs> god! <laughs> this is worse than this would normally be! Uh -huh. <laughs> that was extra awful trying to kill those things because my freaking whip and my controller are not exactly tracking. Oh God. Okay, you really gotta get down low. Controllers aren't staying up where my actual hands are, so it was really hard to whip those things and kill them the way I needed to. So like I come up here and my whip starts drifting off because it can't track it up that high. So far, the KK Cobb, I mean, it's, it's working much better than it would if I was out here in the light. So I'd say it's getting about a six out of 10. The game though is getting about a 10 out of 10. This is, this is, a truly unique experience. There's nothing else like this on Quest. This is also cool because I'm being outside is adding an experience. I got the cool air coming. I can smell the outdoors. So it feels more like I'm really outside. Outside testing is done. But a question for those of you who like that this adds a little bit of protective layer. Can you still just leave it on all the time inside? Or is this something you gotta take off every time you come back inside? I gotta say in pass through, I feel like I can barely even tell it's on there. Besides the fact that it looks like there's some like dust shining or something. There's like some shine off the lights, but this is surprising me how little it's actually changing it. Without the filters on, this is with the filters. You can't really tell it's much darker in black and white. What you, what you can tell is like this, there's this weird shininess that now comes with the filters. This thing is not easy to take off. You really gotta like find where that camera is and then work from there. Surprisingly, it doesn't look much different. So far it was tracking pretty well, but we'll go back into the game, see if I can actually use my whip now. Oh God, I don't know if this boundary, I probably should have, uh... <laughs> oh God. Yeah, I should have moved stuff around a little bit more. I can't change the play space, so no. I'm just gonna walk right into that light. Okay, I'll stay on this platform. I really was enjoying the game outside, but it, I will say it is nice for my whip and my torch to actually stay where my hands are. I'm pretty shocked. This is a really well lit room, but I feel like the cover could actually stay on. Shocker. Let's go back to the desk right over there. <laughs> I gotta say at $13, I'm surprised. Is it perfect? No. Is it gonna work amazingly outside? It's the best I've ever played a Quest 2 outside, except for the times that I've played when it was like the edge of dusk and you had like 20 minutes you could get away with it. The fact that you gotta wait for a cloudy day is tough. I mean, depending on where you live, that might be easier than others, but I've had this thing for months and it seemed like every time it was cloudy, it was raining. And when it wasn't raining, it was sunny. So it was hard for me to find a time to truly get the time outside to review it with no fear of rain you know it doesn't always rain in Oregon but when it's cloudy there's usually a good chance of rain so I didn't want to go out and end up getting a whole bunch of rain on the quest $13 also isn't that high of a price the fact that it's also protective cover the fact that it's surprisingly still worked completely fine indoors really shocked me the other thing about it part of the tracking issue wasn't just the fact we were outside it was sunny it was a very open field so if you had a backyard you're trying to do this it has a fence that has more points for the quest 2 to find those contrast points it would probably work a lot better the only problem is still it was having a problem with the controllers and that really doesn't have anything to do with the contrast that has more to do with seeing the infrared lights on the controllers themselves i'm shocked i'm shocked at how well it works it's not perfect Keep that in mind. I'll leave some disclaimers in the description, but I will leave a link in case you've been wanting to do something like this. 13 bucks on Amazon, you can at least give it a try. And if you don't like it, I mean, Amazon's got free returns, but much better than I expected. I am hoping to see other iterations of this come out that maybe work even a little better. But if you want to take a Quest 2 outside, I feel like this is kind of the best way to do it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have you been able to do this without this a better way than what I've done? Have you tried something else? Have you put sunglasses on all your lenses and then taken your Quest outside? I don't know. I'd love to hear the hacks that people have come up with, but I want to say thank you for coming out and being with us here. I'll see you in another reality.